Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us on this Tuesday morning of our Easter season. And we begin our prayer united together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Friends, drawing together in the power of the love and mercy of the risen Lord this season, we pause for a moment, deeply mindful of the mercy forgiveness, the pardon, and the peace that he pours forth into our lives and our world. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal a contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we, who have received the pledge of his gift, may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and great favor was accorded to them. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The, the Lord, Lord is king, king. He, he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The, the Lord, Lord is king, king. He, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The, the Lord, Lord is king, king. He, he is robed in majesty. majesty. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to the Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him 
may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are all in these days of quarantine, of sheltering in place of the corona pandemic, probably finding ourselves, expressing ourselves with a variety of different words. Maybe some of those words are, I can't stand another day in this house cooped up with these people. That's not the case with myself, Father Kevin and Nikki here at all. <laughs> we might find ourselves saying, I just need to get out for a breath of fresh air. We might also find ourselves saying words that have a little bit of this more serious meaning. I'm, I'm so very worried and concerned about my, my mother-in-law, my, my parents who are in a care facility. I'm concerned about my family members who work in the healthcare industry, in these many industries that are affected. And if I could be candid for just a moment, some of the words that I think myself and Father Kevin find ourselves saying these days are once more, on a daily basis, expressing the fact that we miss you. Wouldn't you say that's true? Mm -hmm. We miss you. We miss our interactions with you. We miss coming together for the, the high points of, of celebrating the Eucharist and the sacraments of coming together in prayer. We miss the, the small moments of, of gathering together as community, of, of sharing in our experiences, our stories, our sufferings, our journey of faith together with the Lord. We hope, we hope very soon that we can come back together. We recognize that we miss you. We miss one another. This comes to the first reading, I think, where we hear of another Christian community, the earliest Christian community, that, was, that we hear was of one mind and one heart, the community of believers, of one heart and one mind, this earliest Christian community brought together, yes, in, in their own physical space, perhaps in circumstances very different from ours, and yet brought together, drawn together in one mind and one heart around their faith in the risen Lord. That is what drew this community together. That is what kept them together. That is what sustained them to do the good works, to do the work of Christ that we hear proclaimed in this reading and all throughout the Acts of the Apostles. Their common faith, their common link, their faith in the risen Lord. So for us, as we continue in these times to, to miss one another, to be separated, to look forward to that, dot, that day, that time that we can come back together. Perhaps in, in the meantime, it might be a call for you and me, for all of us as our parish communities of St. John, St. Joseph, and indeed from whatever parish community or faith community you might be watching that we hold deeply today in our heart that communion of mind and heart that we share with one another, spiritually held together by our faith in the risen Lord. And I think as we do that, as we do that today and in these days, as we remember our fellow parishioners, remember what they might be experiencing, to see how we can reach out to them, I think what the Lord starts to do and can prepare us to do prepare rather in us is that he lays the foundations that as we come back together as we are reunited that our community uh, communities of faith might be stronger in our witness to the risen lord to the light of christ and he prepares us to bear forth to bear fruit of an abundant harvest a harvest for all to see for the world to see Uniting our minds, our hearts, our prayers this day around the risen Lord. Let us now bring to him those things that we need, our needs and the needs of the entire world. For the church and all believers, may the Holy Spirit always be our guide. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For civil and religious leaders, may God speak wisdom into their hearts as Jesus did for Nicodemus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. 
For those who are trapped in physical or spiritual bondage, may life in the Spirit lead to freedom and redemption. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God inspire us in our life of community, prayer, and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may God lead them into the glory of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Mike and Anna Heidenberg, the intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those prayers and petitions which we all, no matter where we are, hold and now bring before the Lord in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Risen Lord, you draw us together in the communion of your life and your love. Guide us in these days, strengthen all of us, all those who are in need of your grace and your peace in these times. For we ask all these things through the same risen Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life. And the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. He 
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, and our patron saint, the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Evangelist, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of the risen Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the Lamb who takes away the sins of the world.
continually drawn together by the risen Lord in this season, we now offer this act of spiritual this prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present age and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thanks so much for joining us today, everyone. Hope to see you back tomorrow. Have a wonderful, safe, blessed day.